Meteorologist Daniel McFarland taking a look at those temperatures behind you. This is not how we're supposed to start our farm Monday. It's supposed to be warmer out there. Yeah, what gives? It's almost March, right? Right. We should be seeing warmer <laughs> temperatures out there. Well, Destiny, lower 30s for a lot of us right now if you are in Tucson. Sabino Canyon, the coolest at about 31. Midtown sitting at 32, which is right at that freezing point. If you're headed down towards the airport, they're at 35, and that's actually the warmest spot. If you look at all of these numbers, they're tied with Rita Ranch for the warmest number out there. Now, looking over near Cochise County, there's a lot of interesting numbers here. The one that sticks out to me most is going to be Douglas down at 19 degrees. Usually it's Wilcox or Bisbee or Tombstone that are the coolest and Douglas isn't far behind, but we're seeing so much dry air in that part of Cochise County that not only are they going to see 19 for a low today, they're likely going to be up into the mid 60s like everyone else when it comes to those high temperatures out there just because of how dry it is. So if you look at Tucson itself, I'm really thinking in between 62 and about 64 is going to be that average high across the city of Tucson back over towards Douglas could be as high as 64 with the way things are stacking up so far today. You have Bisbee expecting 60 and up there in Graham County, Safford looking at 61 there with Nogales at 63 and tonight's lows aren't going to be too different from what we're seeing right now. So whatever heavy jacket you decided on should be just fine for your day tomorrow, no matter where you are across southern Arizona. But I do think a lot of those numbers you saw for Cochise County are going to be a bit more comfortable for early tomorrow morning. The big change they're going to be expecting though is the wind. So by the end of the afternoon, afternoon today, you are going to have the occasional wind gusts over there as high as about 30 miles per hour. Back over towards Tucson, you could still see wind gusts upwards of maybe 15 during the day today, but I definitely think Tuesday is going to be that first time you really start to notice those winds coming back during the afternoon if you're in the city of Tucson, but over near Cochise County could be as high as 40 by Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday's the day we're tracking where just about everyone could be having stronger winds once again. As far as any kind of wind advisor or anything like that, don't see that coming down for that day. Now we are looking at rain following up that wind. That's going to be overnight Wednesday into Thursday. I do think about a quarter of an inch of rain is going to be expected and it will be cold enough for snow, especially for spots like Safford, Wilcox, Sierra Vista and Douglas and even for Tucson in between the hours of about 3 and 5 a.m. Early, early Thursday morning is going to be the time to watch if we have any kind of snow, but it's certainly not going to be anything like what we had last time or a few weeks ago. If you have any, it's going to melt when it hits the ground and not really stick for too long, even if it manages to do that. And once we're done with that, you're going to warm back up to about 70 by Saturday and Sunday. That was weather. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at traffic before you get on outside. And things are still looking